If you're looking for something fast, fresh, and fabulous for breakfast, look no further. You have to try my coconut and banana pancakes. For this recipe, I need three whole eggs. I wanted to show you another egg replacer idea, and this is ground flax meal. So one tablespoon equals one egg. And for every tablespoon, you need three tablespoons of water. And that's about half a cup of water in just a couple of minutes. Sort of like this sticky, gooey consistency. And into the blender, we're gonna put two whole bananas. I wanna save one or two of them for garnish. I love that idea of having that banana flavor in the pancake and then having fresh bananas on top with warm syrup. How delicious does that sound? So into our bananas, we're gonna add our flax meal. And what I love about this recipe is that it's a lighter version of pancakes because we're using something called coconut flour. It's dehydrated coconut that's made into a flour-like consistency. It's 100% gluten-free and a third of a cup into the blender it goes. A quarter teaspoon of salt. You don't have to add this, but when you're baking something that has a little bit of sweetness, I find that a little bit of salt just makes everything a little brighter. Sort of like when you brighten up photos on your phone, this is gonna brighten up the recipe. Half a cup of water. And the final, final ingredient, a pinch of baking powder. This is gonna help everything raise just a little bit. And that's it. This is the world's easiest pancake recipe. You don't have to make pancakes from a box. You can use ingredients you already have in your kitchen. And we blend it until it gets like a batter-like consistency. And our batter is ready. We wanna let it rest for about five minutes. And as my batter is resting, I'm gonna bring my skillet up to a medium heat add some coconut oil. The reason I like coconut oil, it's coconut banana pancakes. So you want that extra flavor, that extra tropical paradise taste to this. I'm gonna put a spoonful of our batter. Oh, it smells so good already. Cook it for about four to six minutes. And when you see little bubbles come up, just like in a normal pancake recipe, it'll be ready to flip. Don't be concerned if it's a little dark. There are natural sugars in the pancake from the coconut flour and from the bananas. It's gonna caramelize and it adds like a crunch and extra flavor and it's a good thing when you have that. Behind me I have a cast iron pan on a very low heat. This is a great area of putting your finished pancakes to stay warm while you're cooking them all up. Now there's one more thing. We have to stack it and eat it. So look at all these beautiful banana coconut pancakes. We're gonna do seven. Need some fresh bananas. A dusting of our coconut flour. And this adds an extra dimension. It's kind of like powdered sugar. And I think it looks really pretty too. A little bit of maple syrup. And toasted coconut flakes. I'm gonna make the perfect bite. Take some fresh banana, some of the pancake, dip it in the maple syrup. You get that natural sweetness from the bananas. It's crispy, it's caramelized. Coconut banana pancakes, they're gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, but 100% perfect for breakfast. Mm. Mm.